So recently we are experiencing this issue where x8664, the simulator is not found. Now to fix this, come to this website and copy this code over here. This is a pod file code, so we need to go to our pod file on iOS directory. And we're going to paste the code there. Uh, there is some configuration regarding pod file. So let's make sure that you found your pod file and then we can remove the last part over here or you can comment it out. So I'm just going to simply go ahead and remove this. And after removing, I'm going to paste the code that I have copied from the website. Now there are some empty spaces, so we're going to go ahead and fix them. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do it quickly. Okay, so once this is done, actually, we are pretty much ready. So the next step is I'm going to do clean, pretty much flutter clean, and then we'll also do flutter pub get. And after that, we are going to go ahead and run our application. So now this part running and building, compiling on iOS, it may take you a lot of time because of the new configuration that we have set. So as you run it, you have to be very patient. It may take 10 to 15 minutes first time to compile. So be patient about it. Now I have already done it so even if you try to run it now after 10 to 15 minutes later you may get a new error and this is the new error that I'm talking about so we're gonna fix this one now to fix this we're gonna open our pod file in Xcode make sure that your Xcode is installed so we're gonna open it in Xcode and in Xcode we're gonna do a setup so in my case opening Xcode is a bit slow because I'm running a lot of work at the same time so I guess my Xcode is still being opened Alright, so make sure you select runner at the top over here and then the targets runner okay and build settings and make sure that your other tabs all combined they are all selected all and combined then you have to come over here all combined right build settings all combined anyway so Apple C lang language modules and change the configuration the first one to yes you are good to go now you can go ahead and run your application but once again this may run for a long time so I'm not going to show it in the video but I've already done it so this uh, simulator issue should be solved after all these settings thank you